Hello, I'm Greer Jackson and welcome to Question of the Week from The Naked Scientists. This week, we've been looking at the sunny side with this question from listener Benji. Can we use solar panels in space? If so, how could the energy produced be sent back to Earth? Could the answer to our energy needs lie heavenwards? We went to Bright Spark and Guiding Light John C. Mankins, president of Artemis Innovation Management Solutions, to find out if solar panels in space would be a good idea. In space near Earth, sunlight has roughly 30% more energy than the sunlight we see because of weather and haze in the atmosphere. And when one adds the impact of the day-night cycle and natural changes between summer and winter, in some locations, the difference between Earth-based and space-based solar power grows to a factor of 20 or more. It is possible that in the future, space solar power could deliver hundreds of thousands of megawatts, enough to power tens of millions of homes around the world. So while space may look dark to us, it actually gets more energy from sunlight without the Earth's atmosphere or pesky weather getting in the way. But how would this energy get from the solar panels back to us here on Earth? First, just as on Earth, sunlight in space will be converted into electricity by solar arrays that in turn power electronic devices that produce radio waves in what is known as the microwave region. This microwave energy is then transmitted from many thousands of small antennas, very much like thousands of musicians all playing the same note on their instruments. By orchestrating the individual transmitters, like a conductor with his baton guiding many musicians, a coherent beam can be formed and the converted solar energy directed to a desired location on Earth. Radio waves of this size have virtually no interaction with our atmosphere. As a result, more than 90% of the radio energy from space will reach Earth in a low-intensity but precisely pointed transmission. Once there, the microwave energy is converted back into electricity by a large but simple receiver known as a rectifying antenna. So, radio waves could be the answer in sending this energy across and could be a way to power our homes in the future. Thank you, John, for showing us the light. Next week, we're getting a little antsy over this question. This is Gert Grobler from South Africa. And my question is, if you should accidentally relocate an ant or a bee in your car, for example, would they join another colony or would they simply just die? So, do ants and bees ever change colony? Or are these super social insects stuck with the same home for life? What do you think? You can post on the Naked Scientists Facebook page, tweet at Naked Scientists, email chris at thenakedscientists.com or join the debate on our forum, thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum.